Hey everyone, I'm Morgan Crane and I have gotten a lot of requests from you guys about how how do I do my hair? So I'm here to teach you how to do it. Um, I have never had like particularly great hair, but ever since I started using this method about a year ago, I've gotten so many compliments and I love it. So I want to teach you how to do it. And the reason I do it this way, it's fast, it's really easy, and it gets great results. So let's talk about how to do it. If you like what you see, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do videos like this all the time and I hope it's really helpful. Let's get started. So when I start to do my hair, I start with it clean and dry. Um, you can do this on freshly washed hair or you can do it on um, day old hair. As long as it's pretty clean, um, the, the curls should take. So. Um, I did blow dry my hair. You can air dry it if you want to. It doesn't really matter as long as it's dry. Um, and then what you're going to need for your tools, you need a curling iron. So this one is a one inch base um, and it has a guide on it. You don't need the guide. It's just what I have and it's what I've been using. So um, this is what I use. You can use a curling wand, whatever you feel comfortable with, but a smaller um, barrel will make tighter curls. And for me, tighter curls last longer. Um, and they will relax over time. So I like to start with tighter and let them relax. So I've got my curling iron, I have my hairbrush, and I have two ponytail holders, because I'm gonna do two ponytails. Um, and then the other thing that I use before any of this, I do use um, a leave-in conditioner when I'm brushing out my hair, because um, I don't condition all of it. I usually just condition the ends. And then the last thing that I use is Glorious Primer. And I'll talk about this um, when we're ready for it. But I do put this in my hair. So first thing that we do is you wanna put your hair in two ponytails. So I do my, my top ponytail, I put it really close to the front of my head. The higher the ponytail, um, the higher up in your hair the curl will start. So I do it pretty close to the front of my head because I like my front curls to start pretty close to the top of um, my head. And it doesn't have to be like a perfect ponytail. It's not, you know, for fashion purposes, but you can see that right there. So that's about half of my hair. I don't start like right in the front. I start at kind of top of my head. I try to make it symmetrical. So that's the the top one. Um, if you're going for a lot of volume or if you have a lot of hair, you can do three ponytails, but I usually just do two. So in my back ponytail, just, I usually put it right about the middle of the back of my head, like right there. It's very stylish. Okay. So once your ponytails are in, um, ooh, looks awesome. Okay, so I'll try to keep my hair in frame, but it's long. Um, you don't really need super long hair to do this. I have been doing this with my hair since it was just a little bit past my shoulders. If you can get it up in a ponytail, you can, you can do what I'm doing. Okay, so here's the secret. So you do, you want sections. Um, smaller sections will do smaller, tighter curls. Bigger sections will do bigger curls. So start with this section and let's see if I can you just want to spiral spiral your curl and you see I got that little tail on the end so I will just pull it out and pull it back tight and then I just let it sit for a minute I mean the curling is pretty hot but I want to make sure it's a good curl I do want to curl it all the way up to the base of the ponytail um, and then after a moment, I clip it out, and then I've got this really tight curl. Um, you'll notice I didn't put any product on my hair before I did this. My hair holds curl really well, so I don't need to spray it. You could spray it with like a light hold um, hairspray if you wanted to beforehand, if you don't think it's going to last as well. Sometimes I spray it at the end. but. I don't always spray it before I do it. I don't find it to be necessary, but 
that's just what works for my hair. So do what works, do what's gonna work for your hair. So my hair, I part it over here and it falls that way. So I do most of the curls on this side of my head for the top curls, but I will do a couple that fall this way for the hair that is gonna fall on that side of my head. So I'm gonna keep going with this for a second and I will be back to show you the full ponytails. Okay, so now I have all of my curls in. Very glamorous looking. Here is the back ponytail. And at this point, um, you really just wanna make sure that all of the curls are completely cooled before you take them down. So, um, you know, check it gently, but you want them to cool off from the curling iron in the spiral position before you take them down. So next step is take down your curls. This is the fun part to see what they're going to look like. Um, obviously be gentle pulling them through the ponytail holder. You just don't want them to have unnecessary stress. And so you can see I curled some on this side and some on this side. Fabulous looking really. You take them down and what I do, I don't know if this will be on camera, but I flip my head over and shake them out. Woohoo! Okay, so this is obviously a little bit bigger than probably the finished look that we want. Big hair. So this is where the Glorious Primer comes in. So what I do, I take a dollop of primer, probably is it like that much, not a ton. And I just rub it around on my fingers and kind of finger comb my hair and you can get some more um, definition in the curls. But as you can see, you know, it looks really natural. It doesn't look like I went through and curled each individual section. It's much more mixed up than that. And with the primer, you can see it just gets a little bit more definition in the curls. And this will last me probably two days, three days. The curl will relax over time, but you can kind of just rough it up a little bit with um, your fingers if you want to bring back some volume. Um, this is the back. And if there's sections that didn't take curl as well, you know, you can go back in with a curling iron. Like I might want to curl up this section a little bit more, but like I said, really low maintenance. Um, it's easy, it's fast, and it looks great. And it makes it, it gives me big sexy hair. Woohoo! All right, thanks for watching. And have a great day.